You know when it comes to creation and who was actually responsible for creating the heavens and the earth? Most people believe that God did. But could it not be true possibly? Do you know those that are watching this video right now who actually created the heavens and the earth? Was it one party or individual? One personality? Uh, or was it a group? It's an interesting question that I pose today. And I want to take you to the Bible for a moment. And I won't hold your time. It won't take very long. But you will be, as I said, probably surprised at who actually did create the heavens and the earth and everything else. Starting in the book of Genesis, most of us are familiar with it. Verse 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Verse 2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Verse 3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Verse 4, And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Verse 5, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. That's Genesis. Please read the rest of Genesis chapter 1. All of the whole book of Genesis, if you desire. But we'll stop there. We've established so far that God created those things. Now let's turn to the book of John, first chapter. Please bear with me. Verse 1, St. John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him by him and the world knew him not he came unto his own and his own received him not but as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name which were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Verse 14. And the Word was made flesh. Same word that you read in the beginning. And dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Verse 15. John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, this was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Verse 16. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. Now, did you hear the part where it said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God? But who is it talking about? in this passage here. You can go on and read the rest at your leisure. Who created the world? 
It was Jesus. His name was not Jesus when he created the world. He was called the Word. So did Jesus or Yahshua exist before his name that we knew him as or know him as today? The answer is obviously yes. He's been here before time as we know it. He was part of that God family known as the Word. So go go back in your spare time, your leisure time, and read Genesis chapter 1 again in its entirety. And read St. John chapter 1, verse 1, in its entirety. And you can come up with no other conclusions. It wasn't three people. It wasn't four people or entities. It was the Word that created the heavens and the earth and everything. Because as you read in John, or you followed in John as I read, remember when it said he came unto his own and his own received him not. Who did that? Yeshua. Jesus did. So he is the one that was in the beginning with the Father. Okay? If you have any comments concerning this, or if your eyes have been opened, please let us know in the comment section below. And we will respond as much as we possibly can to all of your comments. This is Brother Teacher. Be blessed.